I'm Leah. I'm Rachel. And I'm Meg. I-explore namin yung city today at yung mga places na may art dito sa Manila. And we are ready to go. We decided to go out today. Na inaja naman ng Jos na it's National Art Month celebration, yes. and we wanted to show you guys na hindi mo kailangan pumunta sa malalayong lugar to experience art and culture. Kahit naman hindi National Art Month, no? marami pa. Oh. Marami pa rin na mga arts and culture and historical landmarks na yes. nandito nyo lang makikita sa Maynila at hindi nyo na kailangan lumayo pa. Punong-puno ng kultura at history and arts ang Maynila kaya i-discover natin yan ngayong araw. Tara na! Pasok na tayo! Yes! <laughs> nandito kami sa it was designed by Leandro Loxi. Leandro Loxi, wow! Ngayon, wow. nandito tayo sa harap ng isang artwork ng National Artist for Visual Art na si Cesar Legas. Ayan po na. Uh, a lot of people who don't know is that he is colorblind. Hindi siya gumagamit ng paintbrush. Ano ginagamit niya pag buwan well? Palette knife! Ganda ng background ko, yan gawa yan ni Arturo Dos, National Artist for Visual Arts. People don't know that, nasa CCP, laging pero exhibit. You can check it out anytime. Okay. Maraming mga art installations dito sa CCP talaga. And this one is Eduardo Castrillo. Welded steel siya. Ang ganda. Maraming iba-iba klaseng medium, pero siya large. large. <laughs> Hello, nandito po yes. kami ngayon sa Fort Santiago, Fort Santiago Intramuros. The Fort Santiago is a citadel built by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Uh, it's referred to as the Intramuros. Literally means within, within the, the walls. walls. <laughs> Ang alam ko nga eh, yung paggawa ng wall. It's adobe. Egg whites yung pinandikit na. Pinandikit. Oh. Siyempre, New Manila, di ba? Uh -huh. May swimming pool. <laughs> now we are entering the Raja Suleiman Theater. Can you believe that a, a very old establishment as this is still functioning? Some of the first stagings of a portrait of an artist as Filipino was staged here. And syempre, sinulat ng national artist din natin na si Nick Joaquin. Ha, pangarap ko makapag-perform dito one time. Hi, so we're here at the Magenta Art Studio. Magenta Art Studio. I love this one. I'm going to show you portrait. Siyempre, come by the NCCA, yung Arts Month. Welcome to Manila. It was originally called as Church of Manila. It was established by the secular priest Juan de Vivero in 1571. The architect was Fernando H. Ocampo and the material used was adobe and cement. Let's check it out. Let's check it in. And now, we are here at... Salutang from Marinduque! Bawat side no, kahoy, pero siya nga no, do, re, ni... Ngayon naman, may pa-workshop ang Shirley Halili. Mahirap na kapag choreography na. Noong unang panahon, Namuhay na siya ng masaya at mapayapa. Ito na mo! Gumagalaw na ang Higantes Festival! Ah, sino ba yung mga sikat na artist dahil sa Angolo? Ah, mo sila Botong Francisco, si Lucio San Pedro. Halina't makisining! Ani ng sining! Alab ng sining! <laughs>